Well, good morning and praise the name of Jesus. I'm forever grateful that you and I have got an opportunity to receive the word of God that is light unto us. Now, the Bible says that the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So you and I today are being lit into our path. We're receiving wisdom. We're receiving counsel on what we need to do. And so thank you so very much for being able to join us every single day and sharing with your friends the word, the word that you've been learning to be a blessing to others as well. So we appreciate you so very much and we are thankful to God for you being able to stand with us. And so we'd like to encourage you at least once in a while, let us know how we are a blessing to you so that we can continue to bring the word for you. Today, I'd like to encourage you from the book of Proverbs chapter number 20. Proverbs chapter number 20 and verse 7. And it says this, The righteous man walks in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. Now here the, the writer is talking about a righteous man. Well, you know, you are not a righteous man out of the deeds that you have done. You are a righteous man as a result of what Jesus did for you. Righteousness simply means right standing before God or being in a state of approval by God. In other words, are you in a state that God has approved? Well, most of us will say no. But if you understand what Jesus did for you, then you'll understand that, yes, I can stand before God as the righteous one of God. Why? Because God has approved me through Christ Jesus. Once I've received Jesus as my Lord and Savior, then the Bible says, now I have been made the righteousness of God through him. Therefore, because now I'm righteous, the author here is saying the righteous man walks in his integrity, which means I understand that I've been made right with God through Christ Jesus. God was reconciling man to himself through Christ so that we can be approved. God approved Jesus and anyone who is in Jesus has been approved by God. And therefore, the integrity in which I walk or the life in which I walk is a lifestyle of righteousness. And so the author is saying the righteous man walks or lives in his integrity. In other words, in his uprightness. This is somebody who is truthful, someone who is honest, someone who is of great value as a result of the value that has been given to him. I'm not trying to live on my own ways. I'm living in the ways of the Lord Jesus Christ. So he's saying this man who is living or walking in his integrity, his children are blessed after him. In other words, his children are empowered to prosper after him, which means you are setting an example to your children. The next generation is actually following in your footsteps in the integrity in which you live in, which is the integrity of righteousness. If we can all learn this, that, that the next generation and our children are looking up to us. You know what? Most of the words we speak to our children they understand very little of them. But the life we live before them, they really live that. And therefore, one time somebody told me, whatever you do, your children will do in excess. Which means they are going to live or your children are blessed or are empowered after you. So if you are doing something that is wrong, they are going to live in excess of doing wrong. If you do something that is great, guess what? They are going to be empowered to do things in excess in greatness. And therefore, I'd like to encourage you today as the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Live in the manner in which Jesus Christ has brought you into himself. Walk in love. Walk in integrity. Walk in honesty. Walk in peace. And as you do so, your children will be empowered to do the very same thing. You are setting up a path for your children to live in. And if we can do so, we can declare that our families are going to be empowered to live after the manner in which we live. Our communities are going to be represented by children and men and women who are walking in the integrity of the Lord Jesus Christ and we will see the goodness of God being manifested everywhere we are. So today I'd like to encourage you that and like to encourage you, stay blessed as you walk in the integrity of righteousness and see the goodness of God flow through you to your children as they follow you. Have a wonderful day.